All right, time to go back in the film room for week five with Daniel Jeremiah, presented by YouTube TV. And DJ, we're talking a big play Chargers wide receiver, but not Keenan Allen and not Mike Williams. How about Jalen Guyton? Yeah, we were wondering, you know, who was going to step into that role, especially once Mike Williams was nicked up and wasn't able to get out there last week. But Jalen Guyton has been somebody that's been coming on for the Chargers. And I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, it's his ability to adjust down the field, which gives a quarterback tremendous confidence. Uh, this is his first touchdown catch working against Kansas City Chiefs up here at the top. You're going to see the corner kind of just gets lost in coverage. And you're going to see right here, look at Herbert, just kind of feels it. He senses he's got a little space there. But watch the adjustment that Guyton has to make on this kind of twirl around a little back shoulder. Uh, beautiful catch. You can see it even better here from the end zone as Herbert is going to see him just uncover and then take his shot, really kind of throw him open to space and rely on him to make the adjustment on a ball with a lot of heat, Chris. Yeah, it was Guyton's first career NFL touchdown. What's next here on YouTube TV? All right, next one here, you're going to see Guyton down here on the bottom uh, working with KJ Hill. You're going to see him widen out outside the numbers. Herbert's going to get flushed from the pocket. So anytime you've got a wide receiver who's running away from the quarterback, it's going to be a difficult throw. So this ball is going to, again, be on the wrong shoulder for him. He's going to adjust back and make a beautiful catch. And again, this is Herbert outside the pocket, knowing he's got the comfort level of, hey, this thing is not going to be perfect. When I'm, on, when I'm moving right, he's moving left. But look at, the, uh, look at the adjustment here, his ability to stop at full speed, reach back, and finish with a beautiful catch. And then this last one, this was a huge play by both Herbert and Guyton in a duel with Tom Brady here. Yeah, and this is going to be zero coverage here. That means they are blitzing everybody, and you are manned up with no free help. If you look at the safety in the middle of the field, he's going to come down. He's got the back. So he's got the back down here. He's out of the mix. It's man-to-man -man across the board. And you're going to see, watch the release by Guyton. Once he gets right on top, see the corner 23? Once he gets right on top of him right here, it's over. And that's when Herbert can put a lot of air under this ball, lay it up, and then he finds another gear once he gets the ball out in the open field. Just a beautiful, beautiful play design, beautiful throw, and a nice job by Guyton with his release and finishing with the touchdown. All right, DJ, you flip it to New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, 557 yards from scrimmage, seven total touchdowns, both tops in the NFL. You got to stop number 41. Yeah, that's kind of where it starts with this team this year. And you look at what he does. A lot of times you have a defender assigned to him. You've got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's a matter of whether or not you can win that matchup. And I want to show you a couple runs here to show you the importance of the free safety when you're playing against a guy like Alvin Kamara. He's got great vision. You're going to see him here on a little wind back. And then once we get right here, you can see the free safety. This opens up like the Red Sea here. And now you've got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Unfortunately, you've given Alvin Kamara 10 yards of runway here, and he has a two-way go. So you can guess how this ends. He just destroys this pursuit angle. The safety gets all caught up in the turf and then off mm -hmm. and running for Alvin Kamara. This is something that you see over and over again uh, with him having these one-on-one -on -one matchups. I'm going to show you one more play that will show you the exact same thing. Uh, this is against the Raiders. Again, keep an eye on the center fielder here right in the middle of the field, the free safety. That's Jonathan Abram. Now watch as he comes down. Okay, now we've got it. We've got one-on-one -on -one once again. Unfortunately, you've still got another eight yards of runway for him. And watch this, just runs right away from him. He just has the ability to make that man miss. He understands the leverage and is unbelievable at making that free safety look silly. I was so looking forward to seeing – Eckler versus Kamara, and then Eckler versus McCaffrey. Looks like we're not going to see both of those this year. Yeah, I know. Uh, look, it's unfortunate with the, the injury to Austin because I'm going to show you one last play, and this is something we've seen Austin do in the passing game for the Chargers. See Alvin Kamara come out of the backfield here. He's going to go down into the slot. So now you've got a three-by-one look, and you can run wide receiver type routes with Kamara. Here's a wheel route. Look at this tight wheel route. Drew Brees gets it up early right over his shoulder, and you get another big play. I mean, how many times have we seen Austin do things like this? Uh, some of the charges are desperately going to miss, but maybe all that preparation, practicing against a guy like Austin Eckler, will benefit the defense this week as they take on Alvin Kamara and the Saints. All right, DJ, you mentioned the fact that the Chargers defense has to go up against Eckler on a daily basis in practice. What do they have to do to slow Kamara? Because if you slow Kamara, you slow the Saints' offense. 
Well, I, I've showed the runway here. You've got to find a way to minimize that runway. That means you've got to be real firm up front, force him to bounce everything to the outside. When he gets creases up the middle, that's just, it's just an awful assignment there for both your second and third level defenders. So create a wall inside, force everything to bounce to the outside, and then you have got to rally to the football.